What's good, YouTube DM Gaming here, guys? Playbook breakdown time. You know what I'm saying? But first, I want to give a uh, a shout out to the video sponsor AEOAH.com. If you're looking for College Ultimate Team coins, use promo code DM Gaming five for three percent off on that. So. Link is also in the description box, guys. I, I'm going to go over this playbook here, okay? This is the beer and shoot. So if you watched the uh, the video of my last game where I played um, Texas A&M, and if you watch the live streams and stuff, then you'll know that I run the beer and shoot, and the playbook is actually beer and shoot. I know there's teams that run it. A&M actually ran it against me, which is really crazy because when I played them in the previous season, they didn't run beer and shoot. This year, they came out, ran beer and shoot. I run it. It is an extremely high-powered offense, guys. I love it. And you can see, they even have my recent plays that I've ran in this, which is, <laughs> which is really, really cool. That is awesome that they say that. But um, formation-wise, you, you have the shotgun, and this is out of the beer and shoot playbook. The, the base one. It's not team related, if that makes sense. So you have your base. Uh, you have your base. You have your I form tight, 12 plays in that. You have power I tight, six plays out of that. Other than that, you have the gun. And inside of the gun, you have several formations. You have wide doubles weak, um, wide doubles weak trips, wide slot left, wide slot left weak wide slot right you have wide slot right weak wide wide offset my favorite formation wide stack and then wide bunch wide trips and then five wide so that's what you have now the veer and shoot let's talk about it from a personnel standpoint if you have receivers that are good in space the veer and shoot is going to be an amazing offense now let me start up front with the offensive line you are going to have to have in any pass heavy style offense an offensive line that is smart an offensive line that can pass block because because of the spacing on the field the receivers are going to take a little bit of time to get open if you will choice routes are a part of this as well similar to the the run and shoot um so starting up front with your offensive linemen they need to be able to pass block. If you cannot pass block, you don't need to be running this offense. And that is that is imperative. Uh, Receiver-wise, I like to have fast receivers. I like to have receivers with it. I mean, I would say at least 90 speed, at least a 90 plus acceleration. Um, can a receiver with like 88 speed or something get open on this offense? Yes, but because of their slower speed, it takes them a little bit longer to get into their routes. And this is an explosive offense. You, 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 you have some quick hitting routes, but you don't have a bunch of like long developing routes, if that makes sense. So RPOs are a thing as well. And so personnel wise, pass blocking type linemen, you can run the ball. They don't have to be the best at run blocking because you're not going to run the ball a lot in this offense. But the run game, if you do have a good running back, this is dangerous because you are going to spread the defense out so much. The back that I use in my dynasty with SMU um, is a running back. He's a, he's almost a power back. I mean, his speed is like 90, acceleration like 92, 93. He's, he's, he's labeled as a power back. He's not labeled as a uh, elusive back or a receiving back. And I don't mind that because he can get those tough yards between the tackles four, five, six, seven yards. I think he averages like seven yards a carry in my dynasty. Quarterback-wise, you need somebody that's accurate. You need a quarterback with good throwing power because sometimes you are going to be throwing into windows. And this is an offense where you do have to adapt whenever you're playing in the rain because the rain in this game changes how you throw the ball completely. You're not near as accurate. Uh, and it, and it, you literally have to throw the ball differently. Your release points are different. And then... Let's look into it real quick. I'm going to show you my favorite formation. But before I do that, the downside to the beer and shoot is the camera angle. So let's just do, um, let's go wide stack. That's my favorite formation. I always start out my games in this because there's so many different things you can do. 
Um, I'm just going to go random play out of that. Nope, I need to double tap that. I just clicked random play altogether. That's crazy. Um, let me reset this and respot the ball as well. I want to give us some room to work here. Um, the one thing that I don't like about the beer and shoot is it has nothing to do. Okay, no, yeah, it has nothing to do with the beer and shoot itself. And it has everything to do. Why did I do that again? It has nothing to do with the beer and shoot itself. And it has everything to do with, um, the camera angle. Like, you're wide. The Veer and Shoot is a very wide formation, and you can't even... It's crazy. Like, look, you can't even see your receivers. Now, if this was the camera angle, why do we? Why is this not a camera angle in the game? This is perfect for the Veer and Shoot. But the only camera angles you have, the widest one is this one. And it's it's just awkward. There are times in the game because the ball is in the middle of the field. But if I was on the right hash, you would not be able to see the players on the left. And so it, it is very hard to see that. And that is the the widest camera angle. You know what I'm saying? EA Sports, if you are watching this video, that's a perfect camera angle for the beer and shoot. Let us use that. You know what I'm saying? Let's respot the ball. Um, because this is a offense that is, uh, pretty dang good in space. And I want to, I want to simulate that. So we're going to go here at about the 50, drop the ball there and let's go. Hopefully I ain't got to pick my plays again. All right. So right off top, read the secondary. I'm looking at a two high safety look. He's cheated over or, or they're playing right on the outside of the hashes. The ball spot does matter in this offense as well. Uh, you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one looks in this offense because the cornerbacks are going to be playing low and the safety is going to be playing high. Right here, you have a one-high safety look. Um, this isn't even the stack formation that I like to run. I'm going to have to get in there and, and uh, run stack. But you can see the space that's available in this offense is amazing. You can pretty much do whatever you want. See, they're backed off right there to the right. I'm going to throw this um, this this screenplay to him. I should have thrown it quicker. Probably would have had more time to react on the ball right here. I, I want to show y'all this stack formation. This is my bread and butter. Um, if I can get into it. There we go. Stack. Let's go stack and let's do a random wide stack play. So let's do R3 right there or L3. Okay. So I use a lot of up tempo in this formation because out of your audibles, your audibles are already set up really nicely in this. You have double in, you have RPO alert screen, you have all go and play action cross. Like you don't need any, those are the four plays that you need out of this formation. And you can literally uh, drive the field and score with this offense doing this. Um, so the play that I always like to start with, like as far as picking my plays, is um i always like to start with the zone run because there's no rpo concepts and then what i'll do if i like it um we'll up tempo and we'll go rpo alert screen for the base play because now i'm incorporating the rpo or you can pick that right off top that's that's perfectly fine as well um as you'll see here so you have that play then you could run double ends and you can see the run concepts here where they run what five ten they run a 15 yard in or 14 or 15 yard in routes and then you have your all go which is my favorite play out of this playbook and i swear i think it's broken but it's not it just depends on the coverage of the secondary you know because generally secondaries you're not gonna have these corners out here stacked like this does that make sense the corners aren't gonna be stacked and, and this play is really good whenever you have one high safety or if the safeties are rolled down. So I'm going to go ahead and run the regular play that they have drawn up here. And you can see how, how good the RPO is. We're going to no huddle. Can I, can I up tempo? Nope, it just snaps the ball. Okay. We're just going to run a couple of plays out of this formation. 
the defense is so spread out, man. If you have any kind of speed, this is going to be a really good playbook for you uh, to run. That was the draw play right there. This is the play action. And if you get enough time, circle is going to be open streaking across the field, man. It is crazy. I love that play if you get time to throw the football. All right, this is the double ends. But you notice we got one high safety. Everybody's in the box. So what we're going to do, more than likely they're running a cover three. Uh, and you can check that out by putting the man in motion. Notice he doesn't go with them, and that's perfectly fine. Hey, we can even run it from right there. But what we're going to do, we're going to run all goes, and you're going to see because my back receivers are the ones that are running uh, the go concept here. You see what I'm saying? Those are the guys that are going to get open. Those should be your go daddies. I didn't have time to throw. I should have released the ball earlier, but I was trying to see if those outside guys were going to get open on that play. And like I told you, they were in a cover three. So that's just in what it does. They're in cover three. We noticed because we put him in motion and he didn't go with them. So they're in a cover three, which means all of this is open, man. I, I could have easily audible and had those guys run slants and stuff. They were definitely open and I should have hit them right there. But this game, man, pressure comes and pressure comes fast. They brought the house on that. I should have went ahead and released that. That was bad on me. My eyes were in a bad spot. But you can see, look how wide open this is, guys. Like, if you line up, if you line up like this defensively, you're done. You're done. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get major yardage on you. You do not need to line. If you come out and you're in this stacked veer and shoot formation. Um, and the defense is lined up like this. No, it's cover three unless they're disguising. Those guys are going to be open unless those linebackers drop. And those linebackers still got to drop right here. You can automatically hit that as soon as the ball is snapped. It almost treats it like a screen play. I hope they line up in, in again so I can show you what I mean. So now they have the corners back here. This is the RPO play right here. I want to ride, make sure my corners and stuff get out of there. And having a good quick back. If you don't have a good back, he's going to be effective in this offense because he's going to have so many opportunities to uh, so many opportunities to, to to go. And right there, we just hit him up the scene. Easy peasy because those backers can't get out there. See how tight these linebackers are? And I just literally run right into him. But guys, I'm just showing off this offense because it is phenomenal right here. The safeties now, they're a lot wider, okay? And you can always check and see if they're in man coverage or if they're in zone. It looks like they're in man right there. We are going to check, check, check. We're going to check all goals right here because sometimes when those safeties are wide like that, it's going to be open as well. And look at that right there. What do I tell you? Wide open. I just threw it late and incomplete pass, but that's, that's you see it in the dynasty how this play works so well because he's running a, a go route right here and look at that they just bail inside they weren't actually in a man they were in a zone the entire time and because they shift inside which i don't know why they do this it just depends on whatever coverage that they call okay they shift inside and this guy is open that ball should have been in the air right there and you would think that this guy would have this guy now why he shifts why he goes inside, I have no clue, but it leaves it leaves them open like that um, all the time. Not all the time. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough for, you know, see, same thing with this. And, and you say, how is he open like that? You know what I'm saying? He was even open. Both of those guys were open, and this is what you have to look for with this. Like I said, it doesn't happen all the time. But it does happen. They could have been running a cover two concept. I don't know what the defense was running because I can't see the defensive uh, play art. But this is why I love that stack formation. You get a shifty running back that can be patient and hit the hole whenever he needs to. This offense is golden. Okay. Same thing. Those safeties are cheated out. I'm going to check all go. And then, like I said, once I get up in the game, I don't, I don't normally... Um, that's normally a touchdown. I, I put too much air on that. Once I get up in the game, I open up the playbook. I don't stay in this. See, now your safeties are in tight. 
Okay, so let's run all goals again. Okay. And see if they get there in time. So they don't get there in time. I got a one-on-one -on -one out here. Pitch and catch. Now you can see how I put up 7,000 passing yards in a dynasty. Yes, 7,090 touchdowns. One high safety. This is going to be a play action right here. If I get enough time to throw, circle is going to be open. Play action right there. Look at that. They sat down. Oh, and I threw an interception. The linebackers dropped very well on that. See, this is interesting because they don't have deep. But how far did they drop? They dropped significantly. Look, at he just kept dropping. He didn't see. They always talking about players not being aware of what's going on. He doesn't have anything crossing his face. In what world does the linebacker, this is normally their normal alignment right here. In what world do they drop back 20 yards? You see what I'm saying? Or 15 yards. That just doesn't happen. And if I was a little bit more patient, that pass play would have came open a lot quicker. Throw the quick screen here on the RPO, and that's that. Well, let's change it up a little bit. That's my favorite formation. I love it, but I do want to showcase random plays out of the other formations to show you the power of this offense it's the same concept okay you want to stretch the field in this offense it's not designed for the little nickel and dime type deals where you're just throwing a bunch of slant routes this this offense is set up to stretch the field so same concept because of the wide splits that safety can't play out by the numbers he can't get out that wide but it's forcing him to have to play outside the hash so right here i have an all go concept you, you're going to get a lot of one-on-one -on -one looks with this offense, okay? Nobody's open. I'm going to hit that check down. Look at how much space your receivers have, even the tight end. The pass game is wide open because it stretches the defense. Here they've loaded the box. My key right here on this particular play, I got the fade route for the choice concept, but X, you see the X receiver cutting across the middle of the field. If that linebacker drops in the coverage or if he comes down, that's going to be open. He's going to hold the safety. So that's my second read. And then that's where I'm looking at Hudson over the top. Hudson one-on-one. I threw that ball way late. I threw that ball way late. But the safety came down and he was one-on-one. -on -one. Number seven is a very good cornerback for SMU, by the way. Quarterback read right here. We're just going to give it. Let number four get four or five yards. All right, we got a speed option here. And these corners, you got one high safety and he's down. We'll, we'll run the option. They're so spread out, man. Like, dude, you are going to get crazy offensive yards with this, with this uh, formation here. You got an RPO look right here. I want to check, check, check. I want to check the all goals and let's stretch this offense, stretch the defense out. Not enough air on that one. 12 definitely had all of those guys beat on that play. Running back screen. I like the screen plays in this game because they work very well. The running backs are able to maneuver very well. The offensive linemen seem like they're very intelligent as far as blocking and stuff like that. I got a press down here. I want to check that to a fade, a go route, uh, because he could potentially get open right here if he's pressing. And he does. I got the inside leverage, but the corner makes an amazing play for an interception. I love how the game plays defense, man. It really, really challenges you. Now I have that same stack formation, but I want to check it to the all-go formation because now somebody has a chance of being open right there. And I threw another interception. Right there, open in the middle of the field. Come on, you got to get that ball tight in. Eye formation right here, a little fake pitch. Good blocking on the outside. This is a very, very good offense, man. I'm telling you, I may not be doing it any justice right here in practice mode, but it is a very, very good offense. And I've learned to throw my guys open like I did right there. You just have to play around with it. The run game, like I said, look how wide open it is. You're going to be getting four or five yards a carry if you've got a great running back right here. A little RPO action right here. We throw an interception. Defense is good in this game, guys. It is what it is. You better be ready to throw some picks and getting used to this offense. I'm still getting used to it, but it's still an amazing offense to run, and I'm super, uh, I'm super satisfied with it. So a few more plays, and we will skedaddle. 
get some more uh, beer and shoot action. All right, let's get a pass play in here. So you, you see, even on your fade routes, they have choice concepts on them where they can cut it down. Right there, over the middle, safety comes down, no help over the top. Expect explosive plays. And if you got guys with speed, they can walk off on everybody, dude, and leave everybody in the dust. We do it all the time. Two high safeties. Now, now notice how wide the safeties are now. They are between, they are closer to the numbers, and the ball is in the middle of the field. So in this concept here, they're probably double teaming over the top. Um... But what you want to hit, I mean, I'm looking at, at number four, uh, three right here. If he can clear that guy, he's going to be open in the middle of the field so long as you have time to throw the football, and you do. The zones are just way too wide. It literally stretches the defense out. And, you know, you may ask yourself, well, why, doesn't, why don't everybody run this? And the reason everybody don't run it is because of personnel. You got to have the personnel for this. If you don't have the fast receivers in space – don't expect to be efficient with this offense because, I mean, you'll get yards, but you won't get, get them like you could get them if you got faster guys. You need explosive, good route running receivers. I would just really say with downhill speed, man, some guys that can, that can fly a little bit, that'll be really good for you in this offense. But let me know what y'all think about the beer and shoot, man, down in the comment section down below. Going to continue to uh, upload content with my games and stuff. We got Florida State this week, so I'm excited to play that and get some gameplay footage of that. Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace.